Hello dear students, welcome back to my channel, I Love Pharmacology. In this session, let us learn about migraine pathophysiology. So migraine pathophysiology is very important in understanding the drugs which are used in the treatment of migraine. So let us see what is migraine headache. So migraine headache is a neurovascular disorder. Please remember migraine headache is a neurovascular disorder which is caused due to vasodilatation and the inflammation of the intracranial blood vessels. So migraine headache is a neurovascular disorder. It is caused mainly due to the vasodilatation and the inflammation of intracranial blood vessels. So basically the headache which is generated through migraine is mainly due to the neuronal events that will trigger vasodilation. So headache generation begins with neuronal events that triggers the vasodilation where there will be stretching of the nerve fibers surrounding the intracranial blood vessels that will lead to pain. So vasodilation then lead to pain. So headache generation which is the first step which is involved in the migraine headache generation it is the neuronal events that will trigger the vasodilation once there is a vasodilation this will lead to pain and further this will lead to neuro neural activation thereby amplifying the pain generating signals so basically you should remember that it is a neurovascular disorder caused due to vasodilation and inflammation of the intracranial blood vessels. So it is headache will be generated mainly due to the triggering agent that will cause vasodilation. Since there is a vasodilation, the nerve fibers surrounding the intracranial blood vessels will stretch and that leads to increased pain and further leading to neural activation and amplifying the pain generating signals. And you should also remember that the neurons of the trigeminal vascular system which will innervate the intracranial blood vessels are the key component. So please remember that surrounding the intracranial blood vessels there will be innervation of the trigeminal vascular system. Trigeminal vascular system. So neurons of the trigeminal vascular system will going to innervate the intracranial blood vessels. And once there is a vasodilation, there is vasodilation of the intracranial blood vessels, these neuro, neurons of trigeminal vascular system will stretch out. That is the reason for causing pain and the headache. So the exact cause for migraine is not completely understood or known, but there are some mechanism that can tell that. It is mainly due to the vasodilation and inflammation. So the exact mechanism of migraine pain or the headache is not clearly understood. Although we know that it is mainly due to the vasodilation and inflammation of the intracranial blood vessels. So there are two components which plays a very important role in the causation of the vas intracranial uh, blood vessel vasodilation and inflammation. Those are the, please remember, so those are calcitonin gene related peptide it can be written as CGRP calcitonin gene related peptide that is CGRP and the serotonin which is nothing but the 5-hydroxy tryptamine or it can be written as 5-HT. So which are the two component which plays a very important role in uh, migraine uh, a day that is the calcitonin gene related peptide CGRP and serotonin that is 5-hydroxytryptamine, it can be written as 5-HT. So next moving on to, so let us see what are the roles of CGRP and 5-HT. So role of CGRP is to promote the migraine. So CGRP will going to promote migraine whereas the role of serotonin is to suppress migraine. Please remember CGRP will cause migraine whereas serotonin will suppress migraine. So let us see how this CGRP will 
going to cause migraine so calcitonin gene related peptide as a cause of migraine so whenever there is a migraine attack so there will be increased plasma levels of cgrp cgrp levels will rise during migraine attack and uh, as we discussed earlier whenever there is a stimulation of the neurons of trigeminal vascular system so there will be increased release of cgrp so whenever the triggering event leads to vasodilation of the intracranial blood vessels in turn that leads to stimulation of the neurons of the trigeminal vascular system this will going to promote the release of cgrp which in turn will promote vasodilation and release of inflammatory neuro peptides so stimulation of neurons of trigeminal vascular system will promote the release of cgrp and this cgrp will going to promote vasodilation and release of inflammatory neuro peptides so sumatriptan is a specific anti migraine drug this sumatriptan is a drug that relieves migraine so sumatriptan will lower the elevated levels of cgrp lower the elevated levels of cgrp so thereby sumatriptan will suppress release of cgrp from vulcher trigeminal neuron so please remember sumatriptan sumatriptan can suppress release of cgrp from cultured trigeminal neurons so this was about the cgrp so cgrp is as a cause of migraine cgrp will promote migraine so cgrp will be released when when there is a stimulation of the neurons of trigeminal vascular system so this will going to release cgrp in turn cgrp is responsible for vasodilation and release of inflammatory mediators so to overcome this so you have a specific anti migraine drug that is sumatriptan which will lower the elevated levels of cgrp and in turn it will suppress the release of cgrp so next moving on to the protective role played by the serotonin that is 5ht so the plasma levels of 5ht will drop 50% during migraine attack 50% during migraine attack so depletion of 5ht with reserve pen can precipitate attack of migraine in prone individuals so please remember so there will be depletion of 5ht with reserve pen can precipitate an attack in migraine prone individuals so administration of 5ht or 5 HT agonist specific 5 HT agonist like sumatriptan or both this will going to activate 5 HT receptor and this will going to this will going to abort the ongoing attack ongoing attack so what you need to remember from this session is so migraine pathophysiology mainly depends on two key important thing those or those or c g r p and 5 ht so c g r p that is calcitonin gene related peptide will going to promote migraine promote migraine whereas the 5 ht or serotonin or the somatriptan which is a selective 5 ht receptor agonist will going to help in relieving migraine help in relieving migraine so please remember sumatriptan suma triptan is effective in decreasing the cgrp and also sumatriptan will going to activate the 5 ht receptors all together it will suppress the release of cgrp it will lowers the levels of cgrp and also it activates the 5ht receptors thereby it will going to abort the ongoing attack so vasodilation in the intracranial blood vessels will come down as it causes vasoconstriction of the 
cranial blood vessels so this was about the class on migraine pathophysiology which will definitely help you in understanding the mechanism and treatment part of migraine when you are studying anti migraine drugs so thank you if you find this video useful please do subscribe to my channel i love pharmacology and do not forget to share and hit the like button for more updates on pharmacology thank you